I'm Gojo, the editor of WTC. The amount of work they gave me made me shit my pants. Today's video is gonna be a bit controversial, so if you got press, then congratulations, you are the right audience. Roll the intro! Hey yeah. guys, welcome back to WTC Where's the Coffee episode! <laughs> Yeah. This time we don't have the thingy. Yep. Yeah, we're not that's playing, that's but don't worry, we got our props here. These two props. We got our decorations. We got. We, our and we have sunglasses. God, I can't see a single thing, man. Yeah, like I said, it's all this is so. Y'all are being Where's dramatic. Where's the right now? Eh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We gotta introduce them first. Okay, so all you right. guys introduce yourself. Yes. All right, guys. I'm Kai. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> That's my name. Okay. I mean, I'm Shazwi. You can just call. You guys can just call me Awi. Awi? 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 Wow, for the first time, I know that Awi is your name. Shit. Yeah. You call me Shaz, but you know, Awi is more bombastic. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Mr. Bombastic. Hey, your favorite host again, Vinita. Hi. My mind and me, of course. Oh, hey. First of all, I need to change my specs. I can't see a single okay, thing right okay, now. Okay. In that case, I would like to. As well. He's losing wow. his character, like the hero Tamika. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he already took off the glasses. Now he looks more um approachable. Yeah, I guess. I'm cute Whatever. now. I too took off the glasses. You know. I know, right? Anyway. And she looks pretty. I look at this. Oh, so sweet. I love Shasui. Just kidding. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I feel rejected now. <laughs> so All right. Today, yes. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the. Me. Media. Media. We yes. all consume media every day. Yes, what's the first thing you guys do when you wake up in the morning? You wake up in the morning and you see your phone. You go through, scroll yeah. TikTok and Reels. The way how media consume you people. Even yeah. if you don't want to consume them, you have to, you know. Like, yeah, actually they true. Go class or not? Yeah. Today, my friends coming to class or not? It's media. You can't do anything. It's everywhere. Really, how does media entertain you guys then? Nothing much. Uh, after... I usually uh, check... On my scrolling my TikTok IG mm. just after the class. Oh, after the class? Yeah. So you don't do that right Why after you wake up. You hey, no, I'm not lying because <laughs> usually at class I just playing games. Ah, uh, shut your stupid. So I, I think that's worse. What I mean, you? For me, it's a bit different. I don't really play games in class, although a lot of my classmates do. So mm. what depends on the subject. For me, it's more like just scrolling through Insta TikTok. Mm. Depends. Because uh, during class, I usually take notes, so you know. Shit! Yes, he take notes! I'm proud of I have my car. I'm sorry, but he's giving me an old guy vibe, you know? <laughs> if he were to be in a cartoon, he is that old wise man. Okay, well, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah I, that I one, it. yeah, that one, yeah. We uh, meant that way, you know? We, we are not okay, talking okay, about it. Okay, okay, <laughs> as a compliment, I guess. Yeah, for me, I don't really do it during class, but after class, oh yeah, 24 7. Me, like the way I entertain myself is just like, I don't know, the biggest platform right now is TikTok, so I guess that would be it. Yeah, so, same. I mean, like, it's good. It it is full of like educational. You can find educational videos. Seriously, you can also watch find. Education. You watch <laughs> I don't know. So now let's talk about what is the media that's like influencing people like us nowadays. What 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 kind of content, man? Cooking. Right now it's like fasting, man. Ah okay, yeah, cooking of course. Yes. Shit, yeah, I love Cairo Laming videos by the way. Oh shit, I don't like him so much in this Ramadan season. Cut. <laughs> because he make me more hungry, you know. Oh, oh, to be fair, just wait. scrolling through FYP is all this food. It's gonna yeah. Be yeah, I mean, I also love yeah, cat videos. <gasps> right, oh, cat the memes. Me, Instagram. The chippy chippy chapa chapa too. Oh yeah, chippy chippy chapa chapa. That's kind of like outdated. <laughs> He's so cute. Can you do the chippy chippy chapa chapa, please? Chippy, 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 chippy. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> but uh, there's so much in my uh, you know, FYP that show like. Indians cooking that in the Indian, Indian country uh -huh, uh -huh. that's make me so scared to eat at mama cut again uh, <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> no, 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 this um, disclaimer when we talk about Indian food we're, we're not representing Malaysian yeah Indian. not Malaysian we're talking about mainland Indian yeah the Indian here is not pressed don't worry <laughs> if we're still talking on food the one Type of food that always makes me even more hungry is anime food. Uh, anime, oh my god! Oh yeah, the, 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 the studio Ghibli, you know, the studio Ghibli shows food. Yeah, speaking of anime, who, who's an anime lover here? Me. me. My favorite anime would be um Death Note. I know it's like so oh, basic, so but it was like it was like Twisted. 
It was twisted, wasn't it? I I know it was twisted. It almost made me lose my brain cells. Yeah, I love animes that make me lose my brain cells. <laughs> What do you watch? What do you watch for, like, for anime? Man? Okay, for right now, I'm watching uh, an anime called Reincarnated as a Slime. Oh, oh, I watched that too. Shake your belly. No. Damn it, boy. <laughs> are you a belly dancer? No. Do you consider like? Do you want to consider about it? Depends how much pay do I get. <laughs> Might as well be in a K-pop, K-pop uncle. Yeah. Wait. Speaking of K-pop, how many of you like into K-pop? Uh, I'm not really into it. Uh, yeah, I'm not really into it, but half, half, half lah. La. I'm actually down here. I don't know. I lo- what. You know what? I love K-pop, but I doesn't know any exactly their names of uh, the actors. You listen to their songs, lah. Uh, not the songs. Ah, uh, yeah, some songs, mm-hmm. but I'm more like K drama, something like that. Ah, K drama, the K culture, lah, basically. Yeah, K culture. Did a bee bite your lips? No. But did a bee bite your fucking face, mate? Yeah. Okay, moving on. So you see how this is how media, I think, uh, influence people. I mean, not in a bad way, lah. Yeah. I think you guys were having this too. You know, like when you it? go through TikTok and you watch this edit and you are like, oh my god, what movie, what show is this? I want to watch this right yeah, now. Yeah, I feel like that too. See, that's the influence. That's the media influence you're talking about. TikTok really know what were they doing when they edited that one Jacob Elordi. Um, I know that. Yeah, I think guys wouldn't know that. The girls would know that. If it's like from TikTok, I always see these short clips of animes or even manhwas, mm-hmm. and I it always makes me like, ah, oh, damn it! Now I have to search for it now. Ah, right, right, I, right I same. Put it in the comments. Here we come to the main topic. Ching, 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 ching. Let's get I drop the topic. We are going to talk about the toxicity, how the media affects our society. You know, not just in a good way, but also in a bad way. Yeah. yeah. Basically, we're gonna talk about how toxic media can be to um, some of us. Yeah. When was the first time you guys uh, started to consume media? Like the- this might actually make me sound old, but I used to watch media through a Nokia N70. Yes, you are. <laughs> Yes. Nizi, please. <laughs> like literally during that time, Facebook was the main. Uh huh. Yeah. Social media and. Even through that, there was like no videos or anything. Should now it explains why he's like that. He's a Facebook guy. I know, right? Like, you know what I pity the most? Yeah. Okay, little little childrens who are like yeah. nowadays. To yes. Like, um, True. Unlimited access to the media. Um, maybe it does not really sound bad at first, but you Go know, with. like the long term thing, mm-hmm. they would actually affect. By the like the type of media that yeah that's true. Mm. Like, okay, can you guys okay can you guys uh tell me if you guys know Skibidi Toilet? Huh? Oh my uh, god, that was a whole trend. Uh, Speaking of that, now if it impacts um children that way, mm-hmm. now let's talk about us. Young adults. Yeah. Uh, you know, like at my FYP, there's mm-hmm. too much like uh dark joke. You know. Ah, dark joke. Dark, dark humor. I think like this is a bad thing, mm-hmm. but it's a joke. I don't know how to react to this. Should I laugh? Should I laugh or should I pity uh, them? It's still a bad thing to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It That's actually bad. breaks your humor. See, this yeah. is this is I think this is the culture of like nowadays uh jokes and yeah, nowadays right? jokes. I think that started from media, one hundred percent. Yeah, people who do dark jokes like they know no boundaries. It's like they have not fully developed their Look. Yeah. yeah, this oh, weird. Okay, so I need to bad. talk about this beauty standard because I'm pissed about it. So I Victim. think. Me- <laughs> Victim. <laughs> <laughs> beauty yeah. standard. What was I pissed about is that the beauty standard. You know, everybody is beautiful in their own way, yeah. right? Everybody slay in their own color. Slay. But we have this unbelievable beauty standard. I don't know if you guys know Duyin. Yes, Duyin. Duyin the yes. the Chinese stick. Yes. Like you know the girls in these Asian countries with the big eyes and that super like, small waist. You know, like those kind of videos where the girls are just like gonna <laughs> walk around and, and then they're like. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your organs? Actually, literally, the funniest part is there was a trend mm-hmm. where there was there was this one girl, and her beauty trend was a guy actually holding her hip. Uh huh. So the closer your hands are together, like holding like oh, this. That's oh, that's fucked up. That's like more beautiful to them. So the, you know the problem is that let's say this kind of beauty trends exist, and then we make a joke out of it. Okay, ha ha ha, fun. Okay, but there's some people who are actually taking that seriously. Yeah. And they are forcing their diet. Their, yeah. You know they want that small waist kind of yeah. thing. They do so much for that. You see all the weird makeups where they pull out things out of nowhere. You know, no, you know what? Because of the, because of that kind of trend, I doesn't know. All of guy that do that trends all looks the same for me. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Exactly. The, I, uh, 
Because they use the same template. They have like they have a template for like their beauty standard. Yes. For big eyes, big small nose, V shaped chin, big mouth. But a big body. Go Joy, if I'm gonna edit this on my face, I'm killing you part two. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Young girls, lah. Young girls. Yeah. Random Sunday where you just like decide to rot in bed all day mm. and like scrolling TikToks and you're just like, oh, I wanna be like her. Oh, I wanna be like her. Yeah. Well, These are all lie. Okay. First of all, the way how the media is saying beauty is this. This is the beauty standard that they wanted is all lies. Full of I know I'm not. Back. Like you know, all these makeups to change someone feature. This um, you know, small waist when your waist is already like you know normal and perfect, but you still want it smaller. You have to do all this altering just so that you can fit in the beauty standard. Know, right? Girl, get a life. Whenever you start to like feel like all of those um beauty standards, beauty pressure coming into you, just put down that phone. Yeah. Go out of your room. Watch WTC. Oh. oh. Yeah. No. Just Good trauma thing. <laughs> Beauty standard did not come out from nowhere. It's the media itself. Yeah. It's the media. That's the toxic part of media. But usually, it's impact for the girls. Yeah, I think guys also. Yeah, guys, guys got it. Because for one thing, yes, media. There's a lot of toxicity in it. Mm -hmm. But the worst part is there's a lot of lies. Mm, yeah. Lies. Lifestyle. There's this one video where I saw like a guy. He wanted to like go up a buff so bad. Oh yeah. He was starting to uh eat like chicken. Chicken like raw chicken and butter. Always like that. You see someone do, you also want to do. I Why you are not content about your life? Is it? I mean, if it is educational and purpose with you know good uh set values inside there, okay lah. But you know all these crazy things, and you still want to follow your brain or not? Please love yourself. Yeah, of course. What we are saying here is that you are already content with the way you are. Yes. Wow, you so are already sweet. good with the way you are. Yes. Just because someone is doing that bullshit, you don't need to do that. Yeah, yes. all of us, we needed some like compliments in our. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Maybe we don't have to seek it from the internet. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, there's anything. It could be just anything ask else. Your, one of your closest friend, ask them how I look today. Yeah, they would literally hype you up. Yeah, like, there is no chance for you to slay tomorrow. Unless you uh, got like a bad friend who like actually put you down, then kill that friend and find for another oh one. Oh my god. Actually, if you guys need some uh, motivation and some encouragement, are we here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, yeah. Like, he's on Baymax, okay? Baymax, oh right? <laughs> Black he's, version. He's just, just keep coming up. With so besides like beauty standards and what else um what else we were cancel talking about culture. cancel culture what the hell is going on with this cancel culture I know right when they just don't start to, to like not liking one celebrity or like one person mm. and they would just like do anything on their way just to get that person cancelled yeah. just to get that person bashed and it doesn't even matter if people like if people on the internet doesn't know that person yes. they would just start bashing them just because this one one person started to do it like, yeah during this cancel culture there'll be always people who go up says uh, negative comments and things like you know oh i think this is wrong and this is wrong in the name of oh i'm just doing right but what you're doing right there is cyber bullying yeah There's some people just giving excuses oh i'm just doing the right thing because you know, i have to some people literally go out of their way and literally dox that person Mm, like, yes guys this person lives in this blah blah blah, blah. he works at this blah, blah blah let's get him out of the company yeah. this is the impact of yeah. media this kind of bully usually uh, happen at Korean because oh uh, yes right because there's too much like artists in mm. Korean yeah, Korea. kill yourself yes suicide suicide yeah I've actually seen like some of my favorite artists like uh, who suicide because of uh, online hatred comment which is kind of really yeah, yeah. yeah that's a thing that is a thing apparently in Korea yes and also yeah. digital footprint is real okay that's so you random you do something stupid on the yeah. internet it's gonna last there forever yeah exactly yeah. exactly yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly that exactly if yeah. you're finding a job that's where it's gonna hit the most yeah, yeah. I know that <laughs> <laughs> check through your social media. It's okay. So I think we spoke about media culture. Do you guys have anything to add, like on this toxicity? For me, uh, usually the haters or keyboard warrior we call, right? There's, I don't know. Do you have nothing to do other Ooh, than judging yeah. people? Yeah. Oh you know what? Right? Go touch a grass. Yeah, because you know when you talk bad about other people, that's they hurt with hurt, you know. <laughs> the combination of keyboard warriors and also image haters. It, what image haters? Image haters. Oh, image, image haters. haters. Uh -huh. yeah. Somebody going to the gym, they're going to hate on people that are starting up. Oh. oh. Something new. 
they're gonna like bash on them because they're still not pro even though they just started yeah, they, yeah they probably the, just like very insecure and yeah. jealous so, yeah, yeah. So, there's no support in that yeah. i don't know if uh anybody who's there like you know who has gone through image hater is that what we say image hating before but if you have gone through image hating remember one thing i'm gonna tell you one thing when life is going good for you that's when you get haters so if you are getting haters probably life is good for you people are getting jealous do what you doing soy yeah i wish more people would actually like think like that yeah, yeah. i would i really wish you know what i wish from this entire media toxicity that this beauty standard and everything all this standard cancel culture stop and people start loving you know each other for who they are what they are yes. their colors you know different colors yes. don't standardize everything in one color and one standard it, mm. it's different it's a lot and we want to love every single one of them that's my point oh my god i think we have done so much points today yeah, yeah. pretty good yeah but you know what's gonna be more fun what we're what? gonna ask our crew. members our crew this time yeah you, know, you know why the thing is that we don't have time to go and ask you guys but we still need opinions though because you know wtc is full of opinions yeah okay yeah we're gonna go and interview the crews that's it anyway thank you so much for watching today's episode see you guys on the next episode Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, we got our first victim right here. Who's your, what is your name? Amira. Um, Diana. So, my question is, who is y'all favorite social media influencer? Is it like problematic or unproblematic? <gasps> Do you love to consume problematic media? I mean, look at me. <laughs> okay, just say whoever comes to your mind first. Okay. Is it bad if I say Joe Biden? Actually, I really, really love this guy who keeps on like wearing expensive clothes on TikTok. I forgot. Wisdom. I... Yes. Oh my God. Wisdom K. Wisdom the way K. I know that. Okay. Wisdom... Uh, okay. So only person that I can think of right now is Milky Puppy. Oh. Because like he's my comfort character from like during PKP. What's your name? K and K. K and K. What kind of social media usually use? I I oh I usually use uh, Instagram. Talk, not that much. N X Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Yeah, X. Yeah. Uh, what kind of entertainment entertainment videos that you usually watch? Entertainment videos. Yeah. Anything. What type? Ah, okay. Uh, gaming. Uh, gameplay. Gameplay and uh, usually vlogs. Vlogs. Right, right. And uh, well, most mostly memes. Memes. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay, so Iman, as a as our WTC social media media manager. <laughs> Do you, what do you think about the social media impact on WTC? Is it good or bad? Uh, I personally think that it's giving a good impact as we use that content from the online social media for our videos. So, yeah. So, it's a good impression? It is a good impression. Oh, okay. Thank you. Gojo, come here. Come here. Yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, let me out. Oh, I'm sorry. Dude. <laughs> Have you ever gone through any toxicity in social media? Uh, not really, but uh, toxicity from you is, yeah. Wait, for me? I'm, I... Mostly the toxicity that I got is from this club. <laughs> I'm talking about social media, but, but social media, you're good. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I think we found our last victim. So, uh, Han, right? Uh, yeah, Han. Okay, okay uh, has like social media impacted you in any negative way? Has it give you toxicity in any way? So in Malaysia, I mean like in Malaysia especially, the social media like environment is really, really I don't want to say toxic, but really toxic lah. <laughs> <laughs> so in Malaysia it's really toxic. So has it ever been directed at me? No, personally. But judging by, you know, how people have been attacked, you know, either by their you know physical appearances and all, it really sort of hinders me from being open to social media. Mm. So yeah, like I've seen people, you know, make mistakes and the comments are just directed at their whole, you know, physical appearances, mainly, you know, toxic body, their... And that's it. Beep.